On our brand news thus far, House of Representatives urges federal government to rescue Pastor Bulus Yikura, built for execution by Boko Haram terrorists. Unknown gunmen assassinate Dr. Tekura Suswan, the elder brother to Senator Gabriel Suswan. And BBC reporter detained by the military in Ethiopia regains freedom. Hello again and thanks very much for joining us on News Now. Here are stories making headlines to this hour. I am Michael Nath. Now, some unidentified gunmen in the late hours of Tuesday shot and killed Dr. Tekura Suswan and one other person. The door were shot while supervising newly built shops opposite Tekura Suswan's residence in Ayin local government area of Benue State. Our source disclosed to our correspondent that the other person killed along with Dr. Suswan was the contractor supervising the construction of the new shops there. The source also said that two corpses have already been deposited at the mortuary. Dr. Suswan is an elder brother to the former Benue governor and serving senator Gabriel Suswan. Now, the House of Representatives has urged the federal government to rescue Pastor Bulus Yekura, who has been in the custody of Boko Haram for over two months. The call by the House followed the unanimous adoption of the notion of urgent in public importance, moved at the plenary on Tuesday by Ahmed Jaha, the lawmaker representing Chibok Dambua Ogoza, a federal constituency in Borno State. Adopting the motion, the House resolved to intimate the federal government to do everything possible to secure the release of the victim before the deadline slated for his execution by Boko Haram terrorists. Now, the spate of insecurity killings and incessant kidnappings in Nigeria has been of concern to Nigerians in recent times. Speaking to iBrand TV on recent security threats, some Nigerians expressed disappointment at the approach deployed by the government in tackling security issues in the country. Situation in the country now. The federal government is now trying to give freedom to the criminals. But what of those students, the young ones, the greatest tomorrow of Nigeria, that they killed at the lucky, lucky to get? Up to now, the federal government do nothing to compensate their family. But they are paying the criminals. Okay, I'm going to say that the insecurity in this country is actually nothing to write home about. Um, even the government itself, is, they are not helping matters. President Muhammad Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo are expected to receive COVID-19 vaccine doses on Saturday. This move is deemed necessary to allay fears and dismiss myths about the use of COVID-19 vaccines. Nigeria on Tuesday took delivery of 3.9 million doses of AstraZeneca vaccine, the first batch of the 16 million expected through the World Health Organization-led COVAX facility. The government is expecting 129 million vaccine doses to vaccinate 70% of its population within two years. The House of Representatives on Tuesday confirmed that 386 soldiers resigned from the Nigerian army in the second quarter of 2020, which is well over 365 figures previously assumed. The House, however, says the resignations were not related to the ongoing war against insurgency in the Northeast. The approval of the voluntary disengagement of the 356 soldiers was contained in a 17-page circular signed by Brigadier General T. E. Gagariga for the Chief of Army Staff. Africa News Now, Germe Gebru, who works for BBC Tigria, has regained his freedom. Gebru was taken from a cafe in the regional capital Mekele on Monday and detained by the military. A local journalist, Tamirat Yamani, and two translators, Alua Akalu and Fitsun Bahane, who were working for the Financial Times and the AFP news agency, have also been freed. No official reason has been given for their detention. Geme, who works for BBC Tigrinya, says he is happy to be home after two days in detention. Foreign news now. President Joe Biden says the U.S. will have enough coronavirus vaccines for every adult by the end of May. Biden said this move will be two months earlier than previously expected. 
The U.S. president, however, cautioned people to stay vigilant because this fight is far from over with new variants. There has been a sharp fall in confirmed cases since the start of the year in the United States. Business news now. The Central Bank of Nigeria has committed 50 billion naira into the Nigeria Commodity Exchange NCX to boost post-harvest handling of farm produce. CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele made this known on Tuesday in Zauru, KB State during the flag off of the 2021 wet season harvest aggregation and by dry season input distribution. He said the NCX will guarantee effective pricing for farmers, minimize the adverse effect of middlemen, and transfer the gains from primary production to other modes of the value chain. MFLA therefore called on stakeholders to continue to support agricultural production to meet the needs of Nigerians. The federal government has approved the establishment of SIM swap centers by mobile network operators, MNOs, and also extended their enrollment license tenure. This was disclosed by the National Identity Management Commission via its Twitter handle on Wednesday. Shortly after a meeting of Ministerial Task Force on the name SIM registration, the Minister of Communication, Issa Pantami, explained that the decision was taken to allow MNO to open SIM swap centers across all local government areas in Nigeria. The exchange rate between the Naira and the US dollar closed at 411.63 Naira per dollar, a three months record low at the investors and exporters window on Tuesday. Naira depreciated against the US dollar on Tuesday as it closed at 411. 0.63 Naira to a dollar at the NAFEX window, representing a 0.59% drop when compared to 409.2 Naira recorded on the previous trading day. Meanwhile, the Naira appreciated against the dollar to close out 480 Naira per dollar on Tuesday. This represents a 2 Naira gain when compared with the 482 Naira per dollar that it closed on the previous trading day. Now, workers of retail giant ShopRite have embarked on a nationwide industrial strike demanding proper information on staff benefits as well as terms of sale to interested investors who are on course to acquire the Nigerian subsidiary of the South African retail outlet. A report by the Foundation for Investigative Journalism suggests that all 25 outlets of ShopRite in Nigeria have been shut down by workers. The report revealed further that workers embarked on industrial action over claims of sale of the retail company without appropriate information on the terms of the acquisition and the impact of it on their contracts. The nationwide strike has seen 25 outlets of the retail brand closed. The Nigerian Stock Exchange has on Wednesday announced the launching of an e-filing portal, X-Filing, on its platform. This is according to notification available on the exchange's website. X-Filing is a fully integrated secure web interface designed to facilitate the submission and processing of securities listing applications online. It provides the link members, firms and other accredited sponsors with a simple, efficient and convenient means to submit securities listing on behalf of issuers conserving time and resources. And that's it on News Now. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Michael Nath.